y'all what is up welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the first time welcome i have been gone from youtube for a minute if youtube years it's about a hundred years um i'm gonna give you a little bit of a life update and i'll put a time step down below if you're not interested in me or you don't know me and you don't really care where i've been for the last like eight months All right, so those of you who have been following me on Instagram or have been my subscribers for a while know that I started this channel and my makeup Instagram as a way of kind of keeping my sanity after I was laid off from my full-time job and I was looking for another job and it took a little while to find something um, that was right for me and that was in my field. So I used this channel as something to do to put my energy and my creativity into and luckily in September of 2017 I did get hired to a new full-time job and so it became kind of difficult for me to continue making YouTube videos certainly to continue um, the frequency of making and uploading one every single week the filming part this is the fun part. I love this part. I love talking about makeup. That's part of the reason I started this channel. But the time consuming part is editing the videos and getting them all ready to actually go up on YouTube. So that's the part that has been really stopping me. But I do want to start updating more frequently. I did make another video with some awesome makeup from Europe that one of my friends sent me. And I have not gotten it edited yet, but I will get that one up as well. But I really, really wanted to film this particular video. So this is my very first, and it is really heavy and it is gigantic fab fit fun box this is the summer box and it is gigantic like and it probably weighs i don't know like 10 12 pounds maybe it probably says on the shipping label um but i had been thinking for a while that I wanted Fab Fit Fun. And for those of you who are not familiar, it is a quarterly box, so it comes out with a new box every season, and it is $49.99. So when I was not working, it was definitely too much of a luxury, although I did I did subscribe to BoxyCharm and of course my Sephora Play, even when I was not working. But I decided, um, in the month of April that that was going to be my last boxy charm at least for a while my palette collection is kind of overwhelming and I love boxy and I love the full-size products but it just got to be too much like right now in my Poshmark closet and on my trade list I probably have 12 brand new black eyeliners because I'm not really much of a black eyeliner person so just getting, I was getting three boxes every month, um, BoxyCharm, Sephora Play, and the Allure Beauty Box, which I subscribed to, to get the Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Pop Mini a few months ago, and really thought that it was an underrated box, like it was way better than I realized it was going to be, so I have continued subscribing. So, um, because Sephora Play and Allure are usually small products, sometimes in the Allure box, you will get a full size product or two, but mostly it is sample sizes and even with sample sizes, my stash is just overflowing. So something had to go and the May Boxy Charm just really did not appeal to me. So I decided to cancel Boxy. But with that, it meant that I had a little bit of extra money to play with and $49.99 every three months. Actually, if you do the math, it turns out that is actually cheaper to get FabFitFun than it is to get Boxy every month. But of course, you don't get a box with FabFitFun every month, so it kind of just depends on what you're looking for. Um, but FabFitFun is not just makeup, it's a bunch of other things. So this summer box 
it was so good and the free tart product i was like i have i just have to subscribe like i have to so since i had already canceled boxy i decided to go ahead and subscribe and get the free tart product and um the box is really customizable um if you subscribe monthly, you do get a choice of some different customizations. But if you have a yearly subscription, which ended up being $179.99 for the entire year, you get to choose a lot more customizations. So I did go ahead and prepay for an entire year so that I could pick and choose what I wanted of every single item. I also didn't realize that they have a lot of add-on items, so you have to be really careful because you could end up buying a bunch more stuff. But that's also kind of the nice thing about having already paid for the year. That means like when the fall box comes up, if I do want to add on a couple more items, you know, it'll only be like $10, $20, $30 as opposed to that on top of the fee. So first of all, this is not a sponsored video. I wish that it was, but I did buy this box with my own money. This is my very first FabFitFun box, although I have been looking at the spoilers on my subscription addiction for pretty much ever. So I did know what was coming in this box. And like I said before, I did customize as much as possible. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to do my unboxing slash first impressions video. Sorry about the noise, I gotta turn it over. All right, so the first thing that we have in the box is this sponge gel, I think it's called. It's a little, got a little squished. And this is an add-on item that I got because I've been really wanting to try these. It is heart-shaped. And it is a body wash infused buffer. So a sponge that is already infused with body wash. So I think that this add-on was $5, I want to say. And I thought that, that was a pretty good deal. All right, so the next thing in the box is this FabFitFun magazine, which is pretty huge, yikes. Um, and this we will look at later because I want to get to everything else in the box first. All right, so after that, let's see if I can show this without. This box is so huge. So we've got the cute summer, taste of summer there. And then the stuff in the actual box comes wrapped in tissue paper, which is probably really loud. So I'm just gonna rip that off and open it up. First thing that I'm gonna pull out of the box is something that I chose because I love this. This is an everyday product. Um, if I thought about it, I would have pulled up all the different choices, but this is the Orlando Pita Play. Atmos Shield Hair Protectant Spray. So you spray this on your hair before you heat style it and all of his anti-frizz products are amazing. He's from Florida, I believe, and the guy just knows how to fight humidity because like when you're in a place like Mississippi or Florida, you know, humidity is gonna make your hair crazy and anti-humidity products don't usually have any kind of a difference on my hair so it's amazing i love the whole line of the play products so definitely got this because i knew i would use it and um this will be my second backup because i already have a backup in my closet i like to keep extras of something so you don't have that moment in the morning when you're like oh shit i ran out and now like i can't do my hair so i always like to have spares of the things that i can't live without this is a must-have holy grail product for me so I could have chosen, this was customization five. The choices were the Orlando Pita Spray or the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. So I had just gotten a Peter Thomas Roth Peel, the Firm X from Sephora Play or Allure, one or the other. So I decided to go with the Orlando Pita since I still have a peel that I haven't used yet. But we'll keep this open so that I can tell you some of the other things 
that were possible to choose from and what I chose. So the next thing, and I'm just sort of grabbing these out, is the Kula Classic Sunscreen SPF 50. This looks like, uh, I should mention, all of these products are full-sized, so um, no little sample sizes with this. You're gonna get all full-size products with every single FabFitFun box, which is another really great thing about it. So um, you can't go wrong with sunscreen, it's organic, SPF 50, you know, if you want to have beautiful makeup, you have to start with beautiful skin and the best thing that you can do for your skin, whether you're 18 or 80, is to use a sunscreen. My moisturizer that I use year round has an SPF in it, but you always want to add some extra SPF if you're gonna be spending time outside, especially in the summertime, especially in the summertime in Mississippi. We hit 90 today at 9 a.m. Oh my God, <laughs> why? So anyway, I knew that this SPF was gonna come in handy even though I had gotten the uh, the Sephora Sun Favorites, I forget what they called it, some kind of a funny name. Um, I'll look it up and post it up there, but it had all these little sample sizes of different sunscreens, but you can never have too much sunscreen in my world, so. And it is important to note too that that Orlando PETA customization number five, that was not something that was available to everybody. That was one of the ones that was only available to annual subscribers. So keep that in mind that if you subscribe to the annual box, you are gonna get um, a little bit more say in which products you're getting. Ooh, oh, it's blue. Okay, so I was expecting this to be orange because I think all the pictures I've seen it has been orange and it's a lot smaller than I expected too, but I'm so excited about this product. This is the Forio, Forio, I don't know how you say it, the Luna. And this is a, I think it's silicone. It's sort of like the Clairsonic brush, which I just got around the holidays and I absolutely love my Clairsonic, but this is supposed to be even better because for one thing, because it is silicone and not a brush, you don't have to worry about it getting bacteria on it or having to replace those brush heads, which are really expensive. If you have a Clarisonic, you know what I'm talking about. So, ooh, this guy is so tiny and fun. Never, so yeah, I mean, I guess it is, it's face sized. Ooh. So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, definitely would be a lot easier to travel with than the Clarisonic, which is awesome for summer again. And I think this is maybe like an anti-skid. I think this goes on the back like this. I don't really know. I'm going to have to read the directions. Um, and there, there's an app. Okay. <laughs> there is an app for that. You know you need an app for all your skincare, right? So I will try this out and see what I think of it and let y'all know I'm excited because Bob Ruff from Truth and Justice Podcast, if you are not listening to that and you like true crime, you really should be. They do an ad for FabFitFun and his wife apparently loves this. So I'm really excited to try it out. Ooh, see some of this, I don't even remember what was in this box. Aromatherapy Associates of London De-Stress Muscle Gel. It says, experience the warming and easing powers of rosemary, black pepper, lavender, and ginger to de-stress your body after spending too long in one position or after too much physical activity, which, you know, is basically everybody. So apply generously, massage into overworked joints and muscles as often as necessary. Well, let's just open this up. That's what an unboxing is all about, right? Ooh. Oh, I can smell the lavender and the pepper. <laughs> it's interesting. It's an interesting combination because lavender you know, is very soothing and pepper is usually more of like a like waking up kind of a invigorating smell. So it's an interesting combination. All right. Ooh, wow. Yeah, if, if you don't, woo, if you do not like scents, you will not like this. Holy crap. This box just going like that, it's like overwhelming. It, it almost smells a little mentholated, like menthol. I guess that's the ginger maybe? I don't know what it is. But anyway, here, if I can get it to focus, is what it looks like. Hmm. all right, well, I 
definitely is reminiscent of like anything you would use that is specifically made for feet. That's what it's reminding me of. So we'll try that out and see how it is. Ooh, this is the Pier 1. I was really excited about this. You know, Marvel stuff is like everywhere and I love Marvel stuff. What can I say? So this is the faux marble like jewelry tray. So this is like a great size actually. I'm going to take my bracelet off so you can kind of get an idea. This is like one of my stretchy bracelets. So it's a pretty good size. This will fit like a necklace and it's definitely bigger. It's not like a ring size. Um, it does look a little fake. Like I was expecting it to look a little bit more like real marble. Um, and it definitely looks like a fake graphic print. So a little bit disappointed in that Pier 1. Um, this was one of the items I was most looking forward to. So I do have to say it's a little bit disappointing that it looks so cheap. Okay, so this is one that I did choose, the Maji Sports, M-A-J-I, I guess that's Maji, Maji would be kind of a dumb name, so hopefully it's pronounced Maji. Um, this was one of the customizable things, I'm going back on my subscription addiction to see what the choices were because I do not remember this, good lord, there are a lot of choices in the summer box. Okay. So I could choose between a wristlet, which was kind of a coral and gold, which was pretty, but I already have tons of those. And the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. I already have a couple um, brightening uh, serums that I use or the sports band. So out of the three, I felt like this would probably be what I would get the most use out of. says work out with fitness trainers Giovanni Villa and Eva Burkhart on FabFitFun TV to yearn to yearn to learn how to use the loop resistance band. So the sky is also gonna be great for traveling, you know, resistant bands are great for when you don't have weights. Um it, it feels pretty easy but it can also be helpful for like if you have trouble getting into yoga poses you can use it like a strap so I'm excited to like try this guy out and see it probably just end up in my box of like random fitness stuff that I don't use because I'm a creature of habit and I do the same thing over and over the TARDIS Pro Glow palette of course I have seen this I have swatched this I actually got this last year as a special gift from Ulta. I think it was actually oops, the first time that they had ever sent this out. I made Ulta Platinum by like March or April last year and um, I just randomly got this in the mail and I was expecting another Ulta order so I was so shocked. Um, when I got it, and I didn't really contour at the time, um, I mean, and it is gorgeous, but I thought, you know, for $45, and this does retail for, I believe, $45, I would really rather have the, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, so I took it in, I'm, I have, like, balls of steel, y'all, I took it into the Ulta, and I was like, hey, y'all sent me this for free, and I was wondering if I could trade it for <laughs> something of the same value, and they were like, what the hell, we don't send out free stuff to people, so, <laughs> anyway, they did let me trade it in for the Modern Renaissance palette, which I had really been wanting. So it was very exciting, and I do thank Ulta for letting me do that. Um, I purposely, you know, didn't swatch it, didn't do anything to it, so it was like and still in, you know, saleable condition. But I do really love Tarte. Obviously, um, if you follow the hashtag Obsessed with Tarte on Instagram, it's basically just my stuff because. I'm obsessed with Tarte. So I am really happy to add this to my collection and I do contour more now. So yeah, I'm excited to play around with this. Now this you could choose between uh, this 
or another Tarte product, which I have to say is part of what pushed me over the edge to be like, I have to have this Fat Fit Fun box. Um, it was, I know it was one of their little, the Tardis Pro to Go palette, which has six eyeshadows in it and a black eyeliner, which y'all know I do not need because we just talked about that a minute ago. So this to me was a way better value than the little Pro to Go palette and I knew that I would never use the black eyeliner. So really excited to play with this though. And then I think there's just one more thing in this box. This, I don't know if I should open this. This is the Summer and Rose Giant Beach Towel. And this was another product that anybody could customize. Um, you got to choose from a bunch of different products actually that were really different. So you could choose between the Summer and Rose Palm Print Beach Towel, which is what I went with. It was really hard to choose between this one and the and pineapples which were really cute pineapples are so everywhere right now that they're really trendy so it's not going to be a print that you probably want to use next summer so i wanted to go with something that was going to not look dated immediately and the other choices were a train case which i mean i have like a billion makeup bags and train cases so i didn't really need that yeah so it was the train case or the towel so definitely wanted to go with the towel on that one. And I guess there was another customizable. Oh, okay, the aromatherapy guy. Let me get him back. This aromatherapy gel, um, that was a customizable and that one was a little bit hard. Um, you could choose between that, a pearl ring, which wasn't my style at all. And this thing, I really cannot say, Jabinaria. Hawaiian Black Lava Body Caviar. So it was really a toss up between this and the Body Caviar, but I did decide to go with this. And that was really just kind of a random decision. I think probably either product would have been great and I would have been happy with it. So I may not completely unwrap this, but I want to just kind of take a look and see like what the quality is like. My, my duster is falling down make your own sunshine so it's 39 inches by 70 inches and part of the reason that i chose the beach towel was that i knew that i was going to be doing a lot of swimming this summer um we're having my bachelorette party at a pool Woo. oh my god this is almost more like a like a blanket than a towel it's got really nice i don't know if you can see very nice edges and then it's kind of like a terry cloth on one side and then more like a more like a blanket so wow this is really cool um but like i was saying we're gonna be having my bachelorette party at a pool and also the house uh where we're going to be having our wedding has a pool so i knew i was gonna be doing a lot of swimming and yes for those of you who don't follow me on instagram i did get engaged in january and we are going to be getting married labor day weekend so yeah lots going on this year so let's see if you get this gigantic towel off of me that is everything. Oh, and like a a straw. This straw saves marine life. That's really interesting because I'm totally anti-straw. I just got a bunch of silicone straws. So I guess this is maybe like a reusable straw. I'm going to have to look in the magazine to see what the deal with this. I almost actually missed this because you can see all the all of this stuff in the bottom it looked a lot like this so I almost didn't see this and now I've gotten this stuff confetti stuff all over the floor of course I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of my very first fab fit fun box and also my first impressions of everything um, I'm definitely really excited about this box and I'm glad that I subscribed and yeah, I'll be back to tell you about how I like some of the products that are in it, like the For Rio Luna face cleaner thing. And yeah, and if y'all like my duster, this 
came from Soft Surroundings. Shout out to my friend Lucy who picked this out for me and actually I went in there and she brought me all of these clothes, none of which I would have picked out for myself and they all looked amazing. So it was really cool to get outside of my comfort zone like this because I wear this like all the time, all the time. I love this, but I never would have picked this out for myself. So yeah. So thanks everybody for watching and I definitely plan to do more videos in the future. I'm hoping to be able to do at least one a month, which I know is very different than my old upload schedule, but with uh, working now full time as a social worker in hospice, I am really busy a lot of the time. So unfortunately I don't have the hours that I used to have to edit stuff, but hopefully I've also gotten a little bit better at this. If my camera will cooperate, you may have noticed that the lighting changed and part of that is because my camera battery died and my backup battery said it was charged, but it was not. So I had to charge one of my dead batteries for a little bit and then the lighting changed and I had to move my lighting around. So it was kind of a nightmare. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.